Hi everybody, thank you for joining Deco Networks for today's webinar. We'll be discussing how to modernize your decoration shop with Deco Network. My name is Victor, I'm Deco Networks Marketing Manager. With us we also have Christopher Cruz, he's our Systems Application Administrator. How are you doing Chris? Hey Victor, I'm doing great, how about yourself? Doing pretty good. And before we get started Chris, um, why don't you tell us a little bit of the importance of actually modernizing your decoration shop with a system such as Deco Network? Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, we. So one of the things that uh, that we hear from a lot of the the clients that we get coming in, we hear a lot of stories about their their workflow prior prior to joining Deco Network. Uh, I do have some experience in in that area as well. Uh, I have worked in different decoration shops uh, in the production area, so I know a lot of the Kind of the headaches that you can run into uh, with a shop that runs on paper and mm -hmm. a shop that, that doesn't have all all the systems integrated together so what we're going to look at is how deco network puts all of the pieces together for you and gives you a, a way to consolidate uh, your entire business into one solution that's right all right and with that out of the way let's actually jump into um the starting point what what can you expect with deco network um, once you log in there and really begin to try and do modernize your business. So let's jump over into the back end. This is the admin area of the Deco Network system. Now, one of the first things that um, you're going to be able to streamline right away is your catalog integration. A lot of times you're working with multiple brands, multiple suppliers, you need pricing, you need colors. And rather than having the physical uh, magazine or, or catalog, of, of all of these and really needing to dig through all of these. And if you lose one of these uh, catalogs, you literally aren't able to offer those products off, offhand to your customers. So with Deco Network, it's made pretty easy. As you can see, we already have several suppliers, several catalogs uh, listed here. These are all the ones we already integrate with. So from your end, all you would really need to do is come in here, find the people that you're working with, I already have Sanmar selected here, and you can choose to enable the entire catalog, uh, or you can come into select next to Sanmar, and you can pick and choose the specific products that you want. So if you don't want to bring everything on hand, you just want a few of the brands, you can do so. Um, also, if you work with multiple suppliers, let just tick Alpha Broder on there, you can also come in here and maybe you don't want some overlap, you can actually unselect these and then also come pick and choose different brands from this supplier here. Uh, for this instance, we already have Sanmar and specifically we have the Gildan products already enabled. And we also have a few of the, we have the entire Condé catalog enabled um, as well from Condé Systems. All right, so let's jump over now into products basically what would happen once you select your suppliers and your brands and our system will automatically pull in all that information in here for you you can actually browse through the catalog here you can actually see SKU numbers um, you can see the blank pricing and if we click into one of these products you are able to edit any of this information so if, if you want to make any adjustments adjust the descriptions adjust the product name you can do so. Um, and just to kind of give you a quick overview of some of the details that are included here, uh, you do have a product code already being pulled in from your supplier. Uh, you have colors, the different color variants uh, that are actually manufactured by the supplier. Um, you also have decoration areas already pre-built for you. So not only are you pulling in the images, all the spec information from the product, you also have decoration areas and we'll go a little into uh, further detail here for these decoration areas but just a quick overview you do have um, a body left chest right chest down here you have a second view the back view with a back area and that is basically the decoration areas your customers will be able to um, apply their own customizations on through an online website um, and also through your own back-end uh, order management system uh, which we call business hub within Deco Network, we, uh, that's our business hub. You can create quotes, uh, orders, you can create quick mock-ups, and it's all gonna be based on the uh, the view and the decoration area we have here. 
Okay, so uh, let's see. So moving on from here. Yeah, so just what you covered there, Victor, mm -hmm. you can already see there's a lot of uh, time saving uh, going on by uh, utilizing the Deco Network tool and bringing in those catalogs in an electronic way, being able to pull those into when you're creating a quote or an order, uh, it's an immense amount of time being saved, not having to use the, the time of your graphic designer or mm -hmm. pull up a, your design application to create those quotes. So it's really powerful. Yep, yep, it truly is, Chris. Okay, so uh, next step in here is uh, the supplier. Uh, now, where are those? Supplier base price and markups. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so the, the supplier base price, that's already coming in from the vendor, right? We don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, as part of the integrations that Deco Network is doing with these suppliers, we're bringing in those base prices. So those are already set. Um, if we take a look at the supplier product markup, we'll see how we can affect change on that uh, supplier base price. All right, so let's click into that right now. Yep, so uh, this is really where you would come in and make a change to uh, take your prices beyond what the supplier is providing. So you can think of the supplier base prices, you know, cost or, or as close as cost as, uh, as they're providing Deco Network. And the markup is then going to allow you to, to set your selling price. So um, again, really powerful tool, not having to price out items one at a time. We get, again, a lot of stories of customers that, um, you know, they a customer wants a specific garment, they look up the price of that garment, and then they're manually figuring out, you know, what's what do I need to sell this product for to, uh -huh. to make a profit? Right, so by pulling in the prices from the supplier and setting a standardized markup, um, you're able to not worry about pricing at all. You're eliminating that that element from something that you have to worry about, right? You set standard pricing and essentially it's automatic from that point forward. Um, so Deco Network has really powerful tool to, to help you out with that and that's the, the tiered markup option here. So we'll just add a few tiers to get you an idea of what this would look like. Mm -hmm. um, and so what you would do, for example, on lower priced items, like the t-shirts and things like that, you can usually get away with a higher priced, uh, higher markup uh, and still you know, have competitive pricing. But on those higher priced items, the heavier weight items, the, the jackets, things like that, um, you, know, you typically can't get away with such high markups. So you could make that adjustment. Um, and this flexibility of having variation between the starting cost and your markup is something that's uh, pretty powerful and we hear a lot of good feedback on from our customers. Yep, yep. And the really great thing is that these prices, um, what you set up here is being pulled into your e-commerce website through the online designer, then also through your quotes and, and ordering system as well. So it's the same, the same rate. So anyone on the team is quoting the, the exact same rates based on you know the metrics that you set up that's right yeah i mean what you're trying to get away from is um systems where you're having to do things over and over again mm -hmm. manually each time for a specific customer so uh, by modernizing you're looking to, to standardize you're looking for something more automated yeah and and at the same time you're really starting to eliminate some of those costly mistakes as well so um that's right yeah yes and those cost of mistakes i'm sure everyone has experience where someone might not have quoted the same thing as someone else and different rates are given out to uh, almost some of the same products some of the same services uh okay right. so let's take a look at uh decoration uh pricing tables automatically calculated it's all done in here emily your supplier okay so Next on the agenda, let's take a look in here. And Chris, after setting up the supplier product markup, um, what would be the next step? Like, what is the next critical moment here in the admin? Yeah, um, so we've kind of covered on the blank product side how you would automate the pricing. Um, there's two elements to to the pricing um, 
formula in Deco Network really. It's it's all about the blank and the print. So we've looked at the blank, we've we've seen how we can set our selling price there by again harnessing the power of the uh, catalog integrations, bringing in that supplier price, and then applying the markup on top of it. So if we uh, click into decoration processes next, uh, we'll take a look at uh, the decorating side. So we've got uh, a series of different decoration processes that you can enable. Again, Deco Network is a solution built for the decoration industry. So we support processes like direct to garment, sublimation, embroidery, screen printing, uh, transfer, and rhinestone templates. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of uh, specifics built into the system that are going to allow you to price out um, in a way that's accurate for that decoration method. Um, so we're going to take a look at decoration pricing. Um, but before I, you know, we do want to at least highlight uh, some of the power that does come in from the different decoration methods. So, yeah. um, you know, each of these processes is going to allow you to configure things like your production settings, which file formats you want to receive artwork in, uh, custom color palettes. So if you have, for example, for embroidery or for screen printing, you have a set of inks or threads that you you use, you can configure a custom palette and have designs uh, limited to, to choices from that palette. You can also select uh, to charge for screen fees or for digitizing fees for embroidery. So a lot of power, again, specific to those decoration processes. Um, all right, um, but let's jump into decoration pricing. Again, that's uh, what we wanna make sure to, to uh, explain here because this is, again, something that's gonna really allow you to take your shop to the next level and, and again, keep you from doing a lot of manual work. Um, so here in the decoration pricing section, again, we, we see a list of those same decoration processes. Um, and what De Deco Network is gonna allow you to do is, again, do automated pricing, set up a structure that's gonna apply across the board through your system. Uh, and the most popular that, that we recommend and that we see used is a price table. Um, mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, coming from, from an older style shop, you know, you might be pricing out your products using like an Excel formula, or oftentimes you, you may already have a price table, but it's kind of a printed out sheet and you're kind of just looking, referencing that. Uh, so by coming on with Deco Network, you're going to be able to digitize that, right? Put your price table in a system that's going to automatically look at things like what quantities are being ordered, what process is being used, and all of that is going to happen for you rather than you having to do the work yourself. So Victor, why don't you um, pull up one of the, the price tables, like the screen print price table? Sure. Uh, and we can just show you know what that looks like. Let's pull that up right here, screen print price table. All right, and we have one already um, created here. All right. So just to show again the the specifics, what um, what we offer as far as the price tables, each one is going to be different. So I'll explain the one for screen printing here, and then um, we can cover embroidery just to give that difference and and yeah. that insight that Deco Network is built specific to the processes. So for screen printing, it's going to be priced out based on number of colors and quantity. You can set up those quantity discounts. You also have the option to charge for the white base, which you know for a process like screen printing is important on those dark shirts, the black shirts, the darks. Um, you want to be able to cover for the fact that you're going to have to put put in that white under base. Um, so that's screen printing. Uh, why don't you pull up Victor the the embroidery and just explain that a bit? Sure. So let's go over to the embroidery price table there, and let's click into this example price table we already have in the system. All right, so it's very similar to the screen print price table, but there are some major differences here. So we no longer have the white base element in this price table, uh, but instead we do have a uh, stitch count. So uh, at the very top here, you have your quantity. So between one and four units uh, and between zero to 6,999 stitches, uh, the rate would be $6.80. Uh, and as more stitches are counted in, in the artwork, you know, It'll begin to uh, fall under the different segments in pricing, but also quantity. Based on the quantity being purchased, it could, you know, move uh, over to this side. You know, between 250 to 499 units, and let's just go with this one here between 11,000 to 11,999 stitches. 
that's what your rate would be, uh, $5.15. You can customize the price table. You can adjust it. You can make it as detailed or as simplistic as you need it to be. So if you come to the top here, you do have control over the number of rows uh, and columns. So if you want to simplify this, let's say five rows by five columns, you can do so. If you really want to get as detailed as, as you, you need to be, you can you can put in there, in, let's say, 15 rows by 15 columns. So you can really flush out those prices and that stitch count especially. All right. And with embroidery, you are uh, you do have some uh, options. Your customers are able to use the online designer. It will digitize the artwork with any of the uh, of the tools used with the online designer. And based on this price table, it will automatically begin to calculate rates live as your client is actually making their changes and adjustments. Same with screen print as the customer is actually making adjustments on the uh, website or your back end as your own staff or yourself are creating a custom quote, it's going to begin to pull these rates uh, in real time. So you know as you're making changes, as you add a color, you can see the the, the price change as you you know make the, the the stitch count, make the size of the digitized file smaller. You can see the rate adjust in real time as well. And um, and Chris, I'm sure you already know since you have experience uh, in in shops that is. A massive, massive time saver there, especially when trying to quote a customer on on, on artwork, um, especially digitized artwork. Uh, getting in that those stitches, um, that quantity, all all those elements in the pricing just right. Yeah, I mean it's all about time saving. Um, mm -hmm. you know, just reducing the amount of workload on your staff, on on yourself, not having to look up information that you know it's already set, right? Your your pricing shouldn't be changing from minute to minute. It's set. And so yep. harness the yep. power of, of Deco Network to allow the system to do all that work for you automatically. Uh, and, you know, that time reduction on unnecessary work is how you're going to be able to modernize your business and use that time to, to improve your shop in other ways. That's right. That's right. Okay. So after this area, th these key areas are set up, you know, we have your products, your suppliers, you know, your catalog, all of that enabled. You've input your custom price tables. Next step uh, in, in that flow of how to modernize uh, your business, uh, your decoration shop with Jacko Network, what would that next step be, Chris? Um, yeah, so at this point, I think we can jump into uh, Business Hub. So we, we've done kind of the, the main um, areas where you would need to do major setup in the back end. Yeah, um, yeah. Business Hub is going to be the order management, so you know we'll, we'll kind of go through uh, what it looks like to create a quote in Deco Network, right? So obviously there's ways to do it uh, kind of by hand and things like that, but we're trying to get away from that. Again, we're trying to now harness the power of everything that we've seen here as far as the automated, automated pricing, um, the product integrations, making use of all of that information to more quickly and more um, efficiently create your quotes and orders. That's right. And I'm actually pulling up uh, the business hub right now, Chris. So it's just going to load up in just a second. OK, perfect. So, yeah, I mean, again, this is another section where, you know, I do have some experience. I've worked in, uh, like I mentioned at the top of the session, a few decoration shops in the production area. Uh, you know, I've done screen printing and um, uh, garment printing as well as promotional product decoration. So. Mm -hmm. um, I have experience with shops the way that they traditionally run, and even you know just a few years ago, it's it's still a lot of paper, and you know paper going from one department to another, um, documents that get lost between different departments uh, is a common scenario, or information that gets left out by a sales team, you know not including the entire um, information about how a product's supposed to be decorated or things like that. So. Um, that's really what we're trying to eliminate with Business Hub, right? It's a solution that uh, tracks all of that information for you in terms of what products are being ordered, what colors, what quantities. Um, it's all stored electronically and, and in an accurate way. Um, and each of your departments is going to be able to look through, you know, their own section in Business Hub, whether they're production, whether they're purchase ordering, whether they're artwork approval or shipping. They have access to their own section and you know, they only worry about 
whatever's on their screen and not necessarily where something else is. And uh, there's no worry about transferring that order from one system to, to another. You'll see uh, right now as we move through the workflow, all of that is going to happen automatically. Mm -hmm. That's right. So let's actually jump right in there and let's start with a quote. Well, we'll run the quote, see what the flow looks like. That way everybody kind of um, sees how, how really, how quickly and how, how accurately uh, you can create a quote, collect payment and move on through production. So let's jump in there right into quotes. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a quote, a brand new quote here. Okay, so just loading up. Now through Deco Network, one of the first things that you'll uh, be prompted to do is to select your customer. You'll actually have your customer database. If they're not already in the system, you can add them as 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 they come in. But once added, you'll be able to reference them uh, in future orders as well. So I'm just going to go with this uh, first one here. So as you can see, it's pulling up all the details. Uh, and you're being prompted to add a product. So I'm going to do that as well. And I'm actually going to... As you can see here, it's actually pulling up those items we enabled earlier from, from the suppliers. If you know the product code, you can do a quick search, but I'm actually gonna do the um, open the product selector. It's gonna give me the exact same um, product catalog, but it's visual based. So I can see a little bit more details. I can see the color options. I can see uh, what type of products we have here. So I'm actually looking for a polo. Here we go, let's go with this one. All right, so it's pulling in that information right into the, the quote here. Uh, you can also switch colors. So the default is black, but I'm going to switch it over to that sports gray. All right, we have size and quantity. And um, in here, you can actually choose the exact amount of sizes. So I'm just going to do a, a size run here. All right, minute. And as you can see also, it's pulling in the rates from the supplier. Um, I'm going to click OK. All right. So now that I got that out of the way, I'm actually going to launch that polo into the online designer. And this is the back end. So this is what, uh, if when someone's creating a quote in your team, this is what they'll see. So we got the polo pulled up. I'm actually going to zoom right in here. I'm going to add a custom design and embroidery design. All right. And let's see what we got in the upload images. It's going to choose an image myself and okay now Chris were we going with a digitized um, let's go ahead and, and pick that that photo um, okay. non -digitized right, so in, in, first. yeah in many cases um, you know when you're starting at the quote stage you don't necessarily have the artwork already set right you're mm -hmm. you're getting a customer who's reaching out to you and they're saying uh, I want this embroidered on on the left chest, which you can see obviously here, it's a photograph. So embroidering that, you know, it's not going to be doable unless we, we actually digitize that that artwork. That's right. Uh, and make it into stitch work. So we'll, we'll see how Deco Network allows you to track, track that process and actually, um, so right now it's going to create an artwork job for this uh, graphic that's not yet digitized. That is correct. Okay. So we're pulling that in there. Uh, I'm just going to center this. Um, all right. So as you can see, it triggered that digitizing job. Art requires digitizing. So that's all being uh, detected. I'm going to hit, well, I'm going to zoom out here. And I'm going to come into the back area. And I'm just going to add some text here. Let's do, it's not given a screen print options. Just come in here. All right, I'm just going to add some text. Actually, let's add some text uh, down here, right below the, uh, there we go. So we're going to digitize this. And I'm just going to center it. All right, now we'll add some text. And let's just call this one Masters Agility. championships. All right, and so that text is too long for this decoration area. So as you can see, it's given us that. But let's see if we can make this smaller. 
Yeah, maybe put championship on a on a separate line. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is still too, and we don't want to make that text too small. Yeah. So we're gonna edit that text. There we go, and I'm just going to make that font just a little smaller. There we go. And I'm just going to align it centered. And let's switch that color. So let's go with, what's your favorite color, Chris? Green, that lime green. But uh, sure. I don't know if that's going to look good on this shirt. Is that lime green? So, um, okay. Let's do um. Let's do the black. Actually, I think that that's going to pair nicely with the with the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Your green's not looking so hot right now. Okay, so we got the we got the black. All right, so that's our design right there. Um. Okay, it's on Apollo. We, we're hitting done. Yeah, and the benefit there of of the text that you just added, Victor. Right? Mm -hmm. So we got the photo of the customer from the customer. Let's pull it back. Um, and. You know, Obviously, that needs to be digitized, but for yes. the text, we don't have to worry about digitizing that text, right? Because that's you're right. adding it through the the Deco Network Online Designer, that's already stitch, uh, real stitches. So we're using the Wilcom Embroidery Engine to power that that text-based uh, embroidery. Mm -hmm. And it is given a, a stitch texture on screen as well, so um, it visually gives a reminder this is already going to be um, delivered digitized for you. Mm -hmm. That's right. All and right. so again, getting back to um, just a comment here on on the pricing and things like that. You know, you can already see uh, it's already calculated the decoration price, and um, you know that's pulled in from the price table that Victor um, explained earlier. So it's pulling in based on the quantities that Victor selected uh, and the stitch count that the system calculated based on the artwork that we added in. So it's all automated. We haven't had to you know look up any prices or anything like that. The system handled all of that for us. That that is right. Um, okay, so now we got terms and conditions here to move the order. So you do have some custom terms you can set up. Um, no terms would be full payment is due up front. Um, I'm actually going to go with that. Let's just get full payment up front for this one, and uh, let's just go ahead and save this quote right now. Now, clearly, this is this is. Um, you're creating the quote manually. If you have a storefront and the customer's uh, you know, right in front of you, they can hand you payment, you can record payment, uh, and you can take payment and record it right through the payments tab in here. You can add payment, you can run the credit card information, you can record checks, cash payments, um, but if you, get, if you get an order over the phone by email or any other method be, be beyond just the, um, the physical interaction with the customer, you still need to collect that payment, but they're not present to actually hand you the credit card details. Taking credit card information over the phone or having them send that credit card information through an email is not secure um, at all. There's uh, there's a lot of issues with that. A lot of people don't want to do that. A lot of people prefer not to hand over information through an email or a phone call like that. In this case, we can actually email this quote to the customer for approval. So we're going to send email quote. And it's actually going to generate a template that would include a link. This link will be sent out to your customer. When the customer clicks on that link, this is the view that they get. So they get your email, they click on the link. Uh, oops, give me one second here. Then, oh, I see. Since I'm the one creating the, uh, the quote, it's asking me to log in. Well, we can actually preview that in here. View as customer. So the customer actually gets a link, clicks on that, and this is the preview they get. Um, they'll be able to see that quote, and they'll have options to actually process um, the approval, uh, or they can decline the quote. Um, and as you can see, they can actually see the breakdown. It's it's formatted as an invoice. They get a preview of that artwork, a mock-up. Um, there's that original dog. We got the Masters Agility Championship embroidered text. Okay, so they'll get it. They'll mark it as approved. Once marked as approved, it'll automatically update uh, the system here. Now, I'm going to actually mark this as approved manually. 
and just give me one second here. Here we go, mark quote as approved. So the customer will be doing this, but since we're demonstrating it, I'm gonna mark it as approved manually here. And as you can see, it's actually and giving you a warning um, that it's gonna be converted into an order. And I think Chris, you wanted to say something? Yeah, I was just kind of mentioning on, you know, the fact that we're doing all of this through Business Hub. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we haven't had to switch, you know, back to an email client like Outlook or, or Gmail or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We're able to do all of this communication from within the Business Hub. And uh, if that customer, you know, replies to that email, we're going to track that as well. We're going to show that in an email history tab against the order. So uh, you're not necessarily having to leave Business Hub to to these multiple systems, you can stay within the application and handle all of your communication with the customer that way. That's right. And that's the email history tab you just mentioned. Of course, we don't have any uh, interactions happening yet, but they'll be listed right here. All right, so we're going to hit Mark code as approved. We're going to hit OK on this. So the system will then move your quote from the quote section over into the order section. Uh, the difference is that this order um, basically the quote has been approved by the client um, we still need to collect payment and we do have uh, an email payment request here that you can send off um, and that will send a, an email to your customer an invoice and they'll be able to process payment online on their end that way you don't have to collect payment from them over the phone or by email um, and you don't have to actually have them come into the into the shop to to hand you cash or credit card or anything like that it can all be done online uh, again, I'm going to mark this as paid in full manually. Uh, so let's just uh, go ahead and hit uh, mark as payment request. Here we go. Payment. Add payment. And assuming this is the customer's details, we're just going to run that payment. Okay. All right. So notice also that uh, payment is in full. Actually, it actually gets identified as paid in full, balance due, also zero. Uh, it's already been paid it there. Um, and if we click on the Productions tab, we can actually see the flow. We can already see where this order is at. It's been paid. Now, after payment, um, it, the, 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 the workflow now begins. Um, so we need to order. Order refers to your purchase order, so you can submit the, that physical product order from your supplier. Uh, the receive stage would mean that you've already received that, that order from your supplier. Um, any artwork that needs to be recreated, and we do have artwork that needs to be digitized. That dog was not a digitized file, so we're gonna have to do that in the artwork stage. And then finally, we have the production stage and shipped, basically. Um, and ship can be a, mean a couple of things. It can mean that you literally have already shipped out the product to your customer, or that the that the order is ready for store pickup. Um, but that we kind of locked it into the uh, the ship terminology there for that stage. Um, Chris, could you kind of walk us through what the process is to create a purchase order? Because that is something that's time consuming, and you know if errors happen at the purchasing order stage when you submit that order to your suppliers. You might not even know that you made a mistake until the when the order has arrived. And by that time, it's been days. And if you have to reorder product again, that's going to cause some major delays to your customer. So just kind of walk us through what a purchase order process will look like within Deco Network. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, this is one of the major areas where you can really take your system beyond, you know, old ways of doing it um, in in a shop that doesn't have a system like Deco Network, uh, when it comes time to purchase ordering, it means you know manually taking all. Let's say you took 10 orders throughout the day, manually tallying you know how many Gildan 2000s I need in in these colors and these sizes, and it can be a real headache. So mm -hmm. the power of uh, Deco Network is that we're actually tracking all of that information uh, in a way that is going to allow you to create that purchase order. Uh, automatically consolidated. So you don't have to worry about doing all of that manual tallying. Uh, if we come into the purchase order section here of our business hub, we'll see we've got uh, a list of items that are awaiting purchase orders. Uh, so the system's going to know um, which suppliers I have items pending from. And I can simply go in and say create purchase order. 
Um, and you can do that, you know, whenever you choose. So you can do that at the end of the day. Maybe you want to wait a couple days and, and get a higher volume. Whatever the case is, um, the system gives you that flexibility of doing it whenever you'd like. Uh, you can also do it uh, on a per order basis. So uh, if we view the order that Victor just created, we can choose raise purchase order from here as well. Again, the system knows uh, which products are included in that order, the quantities, the colors. So it knows it's from Sanmar. We can go ahead and press OK and it's gonna populate uh, a brand new purchase order with those products already included in there. Um, in the case of uh, the major suppliers, again, we have direct integration with their system. So uh, you're gonna get in live pricing information. You're also gonna get the ability to live send these products that you need to order into their system. So that's another time saver, another way of taking your, your uh, shop to the next level where you're not having to have uh, your team call up Sanmar sales team or uh, send them an email and say, you know, I need these quantities. So rather than that, you're just telling your business hub, send this product list to Sanmar as an order and it's gonna price out to your account um, and automatically they're gonna create that order and ship those items to you. So reducing not only your work, but reducing the amount of time between when uh, you get that order from the customer and the product is in your shop ready to to decorate. So again, just streamlining that process is really beneficial. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so we have this list here, again, for the order that Victor just created. Um, we could go in and say uh, enable live ordering uh, if we wanted that option. In this case, uh, we don't actually have it fully enabled for, for this system, but let's go ahead and hit save so we can show what, uh, what sending would look like if we had it enabled. So we've saved that out. Uh, we would then come in and say send purchase order and we would see the, the live option enabled. So it's just a matter of selecting live send and press uh, pressing the send button. There's no information that you need to enter. You don't need to send uh, set who it's going to. The system handles all of that automatically. So again, the Deco Network system and the supplier system are communicating uh, together so that you don't have to do that work. And okay, Chris, but th there is also... Yes. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, just I was just curious. Um, typically, in a decorating business, how long would it take to create a purchase order manually, uh, just from scratch? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, obviously it depends on on how many orders you took that day, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I do remember cases where you know we took in a lot of orders throughout the day, and and some of those were very complex orders where, you know, you have like just a few of, of different sizes uh, and different colors. Um, so just getting your head around all of those quantities and making sure not to make a mistake, mm -hmm. I guess that, that's the point is oftentimes there were mistakes. And so during the production run, you know, we'd, we'd find that we're, we're short. And so we have to order. Yeah. So this system is going to eliminate that work altogether. Yeah. And, and also just curious, just, uh, you know, off the top of my head here, uh, if there was an error, when would you know that there was an error? Because if you're creating the error, the error yourself, you're not aware that you created the error, right? So uh, at what point does that error begin to be known? And, and what are some of the issues that, that, that comes from not knowing that you had that error? Yeah, I mean, ideally that would be caught when, um, when the items are being checked in. Um, I do recall cases where, um, you know, we in the shop we didn't have uh, a separate time to just check in the item. So it was just, you know, get get the boxes that just came in from the UPS and, and start production right away. So it yeah. would be found at, during the production process, which is not ideal. But yeah. Um, yeah. again, Deco Network is gonna prompt you to receive the stock. So again, it's giving you that step of actually, in case there is an error, maybe it's not on your end, maybe it's on the Sanmar end, which is a possibility. Um, you know, you wanna receive that stock. So let's move to that next step here in the purchase order. We can say we receive stock and we can start marking how many quantities we received for those items. So, you know, we received the five. This way your team is actually counting those items in. Uh -huh. And if there is an error, you're identifying that sooner rather than later. That's right. Uh, and you're able to, you know, reach out to Stanmore and, and get that replacement item. All right, so once, uh, once you mark those items as received, uh, it's gonna go ahead and close out the purchase order. And uh, if we take a look back in the, the order screen, just to kind of review that, that production tab that you looked at earlier, Victor, uh, we'll see it's moving further along in that process, right? So uh, we created the PO, we marked those items as received. Um, 
I guess simultaneously while your purchase ordering team is doing the, the PO, your artwork team or your digitizing team can be looking at, at that graphic. So this could have happened simultaneously, but we'll look at it now. So we have this artwork job here that was created automatically because the system recognized that that graphic was not viable for, for uh, embroidery, right? It's a JPEG and for embroidery, we needed uh, stitches, right? That's so right. if we pull up that artwork job, um, what Deco Network is gonna give you access to is the original image. So uh, whoever you, your digitizer is, whether that's in-house or if you're outsourcing your, your digitizing, you could create a, a role, a, a user account for that individual to log into the system and see those artwork jobs. So they would download the original image, use that as their base for the digitizing. Once that's done, they'll come into the uploaded image section. They can choose select image, go into browse their system, find that uh, EMB file that will come digitized artwork. And that's gonna replace the original graphic with the now uh, fully digitized image. And um, you know, because that artwork has changed from, it's gone through some change, uh, you would wanna send that back to your customer for approval, right? You don't just wanna start production without having the customer check that, uh, that digitized version. Uh, so the system is going to give us an option here to uh, to send that uh, that artwork to the customer for approval. All right, so here's the digitized version. You can see it has that stitch preview, again powered by the Wilcom engine. And once we drop that in, we'll see it's it's replaced the original. Uh, we can go ahead and pull it up into the designer just in case there's any adjustment that needs to be made. We might need to shift that if the sizing is a little bit different, but uh, it looks fine, so we'll leave it as is. So we'll cancel out of that. Uh, and again, you have the option to send to the customer. Um, for now, again, since we're doing all this uh, in the back end, we'll just mark it as approved from here. So we'll say mark as approved. And this is going to go ahead and clear that step from our production workflow. Again, we're tracking all of this um, in Business Hub so that we don't have to do it through paper, right? You don't want paper um, getting lost between one department and another. So Deco Network is tracking these steps all electronically so that the entire team knows you know, the status of an order and where it's at in terms of the, the production step. All right, so, um, so we got the artwork from our digitizer. At this point, your production team, whoever's uh, gonna run the embroidery job, would go into the production tab of the business hub. Uh, they would view that order, um, get that uh, final embroidered artwork, and Deco Network is actually gonna give you one EMB file combined of that, uh, that dog image and the text. So there, those won't be separate images, you'll get one embroidery file that you can take to the machine and, uh, and embroider. Um, there is something that we'll, we do want to highlight here. Um, the, the order that we created is for embroidery, um, but uh, again, we support many different processes like screen printing, transfer, digitizing, and what you have access to do for all of those process, uh, processes is to create um, more granular, uh, more specific production statuses. So. Uh, we can take a look at some of these orders here to see what uh, what that might look like. So, for example, for a screen print order, you would have production statuses like create film, burn screens, set up press, and pack up the shirts. So all of these steps are going to give your production team um, the power to track, you know, all all the little actions that they do to get an order from from when you have the blank shirts in the warehouse to those items being packed up. Uh, you know, that could be 10 different steps that you, your team does on a sublimation job or, you know, these four steps that someone's doing for a screen print. Uh, you're going to be able to define all those different steps, whatever they might be for your shop, and track those so that, you know, again, you're not missing a step. You're not losing track of where an order is. Deco Networks is going to allow you to, to track all of that uh, here in Business Hub and, and make sure that uh, each order is accounted for. Yep. I also wanted to add, uh, it's automatic. So you can create the the steps for screen print separate from the steps for embroidery. So each method can have its own custom uh, set of steps. And those steps are actually triggered and assigned automatically to the order 
based on the decora on the decoration method um, that applies to that specific order. So you don't have to manually begin to assign, okay, this is screen print, let's assign the screen print steps. It'll do it automatically as soon as it populates in Business Hub. That's right. Uh, there's a lot of power there. Um, you can assign it, you know, obviously by the process, you can assign it by the product. So maybe some products require, require different steps than, than others. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of power that, that we've built into to the production statuses feature. And again, it's all in the name of making your life easier. You don't want to have to do that manually each time. You want to set it in the system and set it to work for you. Set it in a way that's going to be automatic, that's going to save you time. And that's exactly what uh, production statuses is going to do for you. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and finish up with this order here. So again, we're looking at this top order uh, for embroidery. So let's take a look. Uh, let's view the order details. Again, we get the summary of uh, the item, the quantities, the sizes, all of that. Down at the bottom is where we're going to be able to download that artwork. And uh, once again, the system has consolidated both the digitized image and the text into one EMB file that we can go ahead and download and then take to our machine to, to embroider. Okay. Um, so let's, uh, you know, we don't have obviously the, the machine here, so let's just uh, say we went ahead and ran those. Those are done. Let's mark it as produced. And uh, once this is marked as produced, it's going to move into the last step of the production workflow, which is uh, the shipping step. So this is another place where we do have some integration that's going to uh, save you time. It's um, the shipping integrations. So we integrate with um, different carriers for shipping rate estimates, and that includes carriers like uh, FedEx, DHL, UPS, uh, USPS, stamps.com. Uh, for, for that wide variety, we have the ability to do shipping rate estimates. Um, for UPS and stamps.com, if you're using those two carriers, we actually have the ability to purchase postage directly here from, uh, from within the business hub. So if we select UPS as the carrier for this shipment on, on these uh, polos, we can actually set the package dimensions. Um, so let's say it's a 12 by 12 box. And um, the weight has already been populated based on the quantities that we included in that order. Uh, and then we can go ahead and select uh, get rates. So we're getting rates from UPS. Uh, we'll be able to select uh, a method. And then this checkbox here is the one that allows you to pay for that postage. So you check on live postage, postage payment, uh, and there's a couple things that it's going to do automatically for you. It's going to automatically populate the tracking number from the carrier so that you don't have to copy and paste that back into the order. Uh, and it's going to give you an image of that shipping label that you can download, print out, and put onto the box. So it's that actual UPS or uh, USPS stamps label that you can print out and, and uh, put onto the box. And really, there's no additional step. You don't have to, again, worry about going into a separate application or uh, going to the carrier's website to pay for that postage. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and mark this as shipped here. And that should take care of the order. So we'll we'll take a look back at the order status, um, but it sh it should have been closed out once we mark this as shipped. Okay, so here's where we have the ability to send that email off to the customer. It's going to include a, an itemized list of all the products that they ordered, the sizes, the colors, all of that, and we can also include a, a message there if we want to give them some uh, something a little bit more personal. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit send. Uh, and then again, let's review back into the order. Let's just see where we stand on it. Okay, and sure enough, yep. So we've gone through all the steps there. Um, you know, we tracked all of that uh, information through Business Hub. It's all recorded here in Business Hub for historical purposes. So let's say three months down the line, this customer wants the same shirts again. Uh, you know, we can pull in from that historical information. We can uh, either copy this order or we can um, create a new order and just add that item onto it if maybe they want some some more items as well. Yep, that's right. All right. So 
now that the uh, we cover some of the um, the inner works of the order management system or business hub uh, business hub with Daco Network. Um, there are also a couple other uh, tools and uh, features uh, you might also need to modernize your decoration shop with Daco Network, and that includes a website that needs to be mobile responsive. Uh, it needs to have an online designer. Um, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, let me jump over there right now for you guys. Yeah, uh, Victor, while you're pulling that up, I'll just make some comments. You know, sure. Uh, a website is really where uh, where you can kind of differentiate yourself from the from the competition. Uh, it's it's the section where you can go in and and really brand yourself, right? A website is more than anything. It's all about branding. It's about giving the message uh, about your business why uh, you may be different from the others. And the the tool that Victor is about to show off gives you you know more than than enough power to to do that. It's it's customizable in a really intuitive way, uh, and you really have the power to, to customize the, the look of the website in terms of colors, in terms of images, what you're displaying there is, is all really powerful. That's right. And before we get started here, before we kind of jump in here, start editing and, and, and doing all that, just let's just first take a look at what um, our test website, the website we're using right here. Let's just take a look at what it, what it looks like before we start editing. Um, so this is it right here. Um, it's already set up. It's already kind of laid out. It's pulling in the products that we've already enabled on the back end earlier. It's showing you the, uh, the specific colors, uh, name of the products. So this is what it, it looks like here. Um, now, the reason I want to mention, I want to showcase what the website looks like first before we start editing is because our um, website builder, which is here, it literally pulls it in the website and gives you a live preview of the website. So as you can see, it looks identical here as it does to your viewer. So any changes, anything that you customize here, you'll know it's going to translate and that's a true view of, of what your customers would more likely be, be seeing. So just to get started, I just want to point out we are in the editor, which means you can actually come in here and click on different sections of the website. I'm hovering over the the, the main banner. Um, it's some really powerful tools. I, I do want to just kind of jump right in there and, and kind of show you. So um, every every feature has a, a settings. And if we come in here and click on background image, you can easily upload your own image and replace the one we have there already. Uh, but also, you do have stock images available, build right into DACO Network, um, search the web. And this is a feature I definitely want to show you guys. So I'm typing in the word t-shirt and our system will actually pull uh, royalty free images that you can use on your website from Unsplash and from Flickr. And you can literally pick, pick the one you like. Let's just go with that one, hit okay. And it's gonna pull it right into your into your banner. Um, and then you can click and drag um, the widget, its height, so you can kind of move that as as needed. All right, and as you can see, this, this only took a couple clicks. Um, a few other things that uh, we have available in here are widgets. So if we come in here and click on the widget tab, you get a full list of menus. Uh, these are already pre-built. You can just click and drag them into place on your website where you want them. And then you can begin to customize those. So as you can see, we have text, we have forms, dividers. We have a whole list of items here, including product listings. So these product listings, and we have one listed here, you can drop it in place. And once it's it's dropped in place, and actually, let me, let me drop another one in here. So I'm just dropping a brand new one. It's going to populate it um, and you're pulling in default settings so as you can see this is what we had prior this is the one on top is the it's what we're working with right now you can actually choose how many products you want to display just by clicking in the number of products in that in that box right there uh, design um, the layout of it so let's say you want more of a mosaic type of layout um, you can do a collage uh, type of layout, so it's going to automatically reorganize that for you. Um, and you have quite 
quite a lot of control in here. No custom coding is needed. You can just j jump right in there, begin to make those adjustments as, as you want. You have tons of uh, features and customizations. I'm just going to hit cancel and I'm going to delete this one for now. Okay, uh, a few other really great things are panels. So besides just dropping in elements, we have a lot of pre-built content for you guys. So for example, let's go on contact us. We have pre-made contact forms. You can click drop on your page make adjustments, make them fit uh, your own branding. Uh, but they're really excellent starting points. Uh, and you can really get some inspiration. So you can grab one and then just drag it in there. And now you have a, a marketing banner there. And you can update the text. So you can literally just click on that text and type in your own text. So we have Christmas coming up. So let's just say uh, Christmas sale. All right, so that text is too big for that area. So we can actually come in here and stretch that box a little bit. You can also make edits to the font size. So we come in design, size here. Let's just go with a 40 rather than a 37. Let's just go with 25. So you can begin to make those adjustments right in here. Okay, and moving on. Um, so besides those panels, and we do have quite a lot of other panels as well. We have banners, you can drop in place. And again, you can replace these images with your own images or you can search uh, images through our, our integration with, with uh, Flickr or Unsplash. Um, we also have multiple themes. So at this moment, we're using the, the top theme here, the one at the top, but you do have other themes to choose from to quickly reorganize the layout and begin to work on, on your website based on that template. Now, beyond that, you also have the ability to actually move around within pages. So we've been working on the home page, but you can actually move quickly jump into any other pages that you have listed there. Um, you can actually preview this in different uh, screen sizes, such as mobile. And anything you create using our website builder will translate into a mobile version of it. Um, and so this is what we've made so far and this is what it looks like on a mobile device. Uh, but you can also preview on tablets and different monitor screens. So you can really kind of gauge what your audience will be seeing through, through your website, through these different devices. All right, and once you're ready, you can actually do a preview. You can do save stages. Um, and then with just a few clicks, and again, no customizing uh, with code, uh, none of that, you can have stunning looking website um, quickly without having to really try to figure out uh, how to code it all together. And important, I think I already touched on this, but definitely want to just emphasize bringing in products into the website is automatically done based on your catalogs, your pricing structures, everything gets pulled in automatically. Really from your end, when popping in the website, you really just have to customize the look of it um, and, and filter in which products you want to display on that particular page through the settings. But as an example, let's just go to the front end of the website, what the customer will be looking at, which is here. And let's just click on a product very quickly. It's going to pull up that item we just clicked on. It's going to include rates. It's going to include the different color options, size options. So after it's all said and done, the, the back end is set up. You set up your, your website. You know, th this is just, this is a starting point. This is really the, the default starting point. Customers can actually begin to make changes set the pricing, well, sorry, set the sizes, that is, <laughs> uh, quantities for, for each size. So let's just do a couple in here, do a medium, and let's get some larges in there. Okay. Um, also, let's click on start designing, just so you can see how the customer would interact with, interact with all of these tools. We already took a look at what the tools looked at in the back end for your own staff and for yourself. For the customer, this is what it will look like. And it is mobile responsive. So 
if we switch the screen size, it does scale automatically based on the screen size the customer is uh, viewing this. And if they're on their phone, well, it does scale down to mobile views as well. And full function is still there even on mobile devices. Yeah, that's really cool. I know, uh, Victor, you actually uh, kind of have some, some website design background. And um, I think you can see, you know, the, the power of what we've built mm -hmm. with the Deco Network website builder tool. It's just, uh, you know, it's allowing and someone that has no experience with web design to, to do the uh, really, uh, really nice website layouts. Yeah. And, and, and just to kind of put into context, um, this webinar has been, uh, we've been, you know, showing you guys these tools for about, about 60 minutes or so, about an hour or so now. Uh, and in that time, We've selected a catalogs. We've uh, set up prices. Uh, we've we've kind of gone through the back end of, of a workflow, uh, processing an order, and really custom. As you can see, you can customize the look and feel of a website within minutes. Just jumping in there, beginning to move things around, adjusting to your own branding needs, um, and as as we literally have done it in real time here, and it is quick and easy. I I don't even know how to. How, how to begin to even just explain, like, just a few years ago, before Deco Network existed, trying to, even today, trying to put all of this together. One, the business hub. Um, how are you going to recreate this from scratch? You, you, you just can't. And then the website, pulling in those rates, pulling in those prices, trying to manually code all of that, it would it would be an intensive and expensive endeavor for sure. All right, so let's exit out of here. So now that we've really kind of done the full overview of the of the Deco Network system, how easy it is to begin to modernize your decoration shop with Deco Network and, and all of its tools. Um, Chris, and any, any other words? Um, you know, we kind of, looked at the back end, the front end, anything to add from your end? Yeah, I mean, I think just to close up, um, you know, what we've tried to convey with the session here today is we're trying to uh, give you guys the insight on, you know, the benefits of Deco Network and, and how they might work for your shop. Again, you know, together me and Victor have uh, some experience um, in, you know, some of the the things that a Deco, uh, I'm sorry, a non-Deco Network shop um, might be struggling with, right? Um, multiple applications, switching between applications just to get an order out, um, processing production, you know, uh, in terms of like errors, running into errors, um, lost orders, um, information that gets excluded. Um, so all, all of those kind of issues are ones that Deco Network is, is uh, tackling and helping you to improve on, taking your shop to, to that next level helping you modernize by putting it all into one system, one electronic system that's going to store all of that information for you, you know, be, beyond into the future so that you don't have to worry about uh, filing cabinets, about paperwork, about manual work, calculating uh, sizes, calculating prices, things like that. So really automate, automating your shop in a way that uh, it's going to free you up, free you up to, uh, you know, give you either free time uh, for yourself or, you know, time that you can use to improve your shop in other ways. Yeah, well said, Chris. So I guess with that said, um, I definitely want to thank everyone that joined us today for this live webinar. Thank you very much. We hope you got a lot of useful insights into uh, Deco Network. And um, yeah, thanks for joining us and have you guys a great rest of your days.